Do you think finding a replacement for Adobe Acrobat Reader is impossible? Most people will agree because the alternatives often fall short of even the basics, like editing, converting, or even organizing PDFs. Adobe Acrobat Reader may be free, but its superpowers really lies in the paid features. And trust me, they add up pretty fast. But here is the game changer. I've discovered a free tool that does not only rival Adobe Acrobat Reader, but excels at delivering some of these premium features. And yes, you heard me right, it is completely free. In this video, I'll show you how this tool helps you to edit, organize, and work on PDFs effortlessly. By the end of this video, I will dare you to name any other free tool that does as much as this one does. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a heart in the comment section, like and share as that's the only way you could help our small channel grow. Let's get right into it. This tool is called PDF Gear. You could browse for it and then click on the link. We have a link in the description as well. Once you're here, scroll down a little bit. You could get a tool for Windows, Mac, iOS or Androids. I'll click on the download for Windows. And then I let the download run. It takes just a minute, so I'll fast forward this part. Okay, so what I have done is go ahead and download a bunch of PDFs. Um, here they are. And so I'll be using these PDFs to show you what this tool can do. I'll go ahead and open up the tool. This is the interface you get. And let me pick a PDF. I'll just randomly pick the first one. Now, once you open up a PDF, this is the home interface you get. And this tool is incredible. It does a whole lot. Now, looking at this interface, there's nothing special going on. Um, you have zoom options. So below this zoom option, you have precepts presets rather you could click on any of them okay um i'll just leave it with on the fit width that works for me okay but then okay also here we have the single page the double page continuous scroll let me take this back to single page continuous sc scroll and there's a bunch of stuff you could do but then probably what's catches the eye here is the screenshot option so i'm going to use this you click on the screenshot and then now i could highlight where i want to sc screenshot and once you're done highlighting at the bottom here you get a bunch of options so i could just click done and i'm done or i could save this screenshot as it is i could copy it and then it has an OCR feature. So if I click on OCR, you see all the text has been captured for me and I could go ahead and copy the text. I think this is really interesting. Okay, so we close this and then on the home screen, that's it. Of course, I have the OCR feature here also. I could use wherever I want. Okay. But that's it with the home screen. Nothing really special here. It's just pretty much what you expect from um, any PDF reader. Okay, so let's proceed to comments, the next tab. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I would want to use the comment tab if I'm collaborating on the same PDF with other people. So for instance, if someone has sent me this PDF and I need to make edits I'll, I'll usually want to come here okay so i could use the highlight feature if i click here i have different color options to pick from of course i could choose more colors let me go with this and i could highlight this pretty simple i would change the color and i make another highlight here you know that's pretty neat um, I could underline text. So again, you could pick what colors you want. Let me go with this color and I underline this piece of text. That's pretty neat. Um, I just, I love this tool. It does a lot. I could underline this. Of course, I could strike through. So pretend I want to leave. I don't want this text. I could strike through and then whoever is collaborating with me knows, okay, this shouldn't be there. But 
it gets a little bit more interesting than just striking through, underlining or highlighting. So imagine I don't want this piece of text any longer. I could leave a note for someone. So if I click on this note icon here, okay, I want to leave a note here. So I click where I want to leave a note and I could say, um, delete, sorry, I could say delete this. And that's my notes. Okay, so whenever I click here, it gives me this option to delete it. So let me close this. Now imagine I share, and it's interesting because I could drag, I could drag my notes somewhere else. So if that's not where I wanted it, but let me leave it here. So if I have a collaborator on this same document, I could click whoever it is could click this and then they see the message I have left for them. I think this is kind of interesting and there's a whole lot I'll show you. Okay, so we use the highlight initially, but then we could also do highlight an area. And so this just makes it, you know, more interesting. I could do this and then I have this whole area highlighted. Pretty neat. Okay, so still on the annotation options, um here we have the different shapes so we have lines i could pick a line a rectangle and of course once you select any of these you could choose um what color it wants to be the thickness etc okay so rectangle oval ink i could choose ink and then i could write um let me write my name my name is Afam. Okay, so I could write my name. And of course, here I have an option for eraser. I could choose a partial eraser, an entire one, you know, whatever size I want. And I could get this totally erased. Okay. That's a stubborn one. Okay, yeah, that's gone. Another feature that I love is the stamps so we've talked about notes but let's talk about stamps so imagine this is a confidential document or something like that i could click on stamps and here we have a lot of presets so we have approved final drafts whatever let me let me approve this document if i click here i could go to the bottom of the document and stamp it it's approved or I could use a custom stamp. So I could write my text or select the picture of my actual stamp here and then it replaces approved. You know, there's a whole lot you could do. And then the last thing I'd like to show you guys as far as annotation is concerned with this tool is the hide comments. So here we've made a lot of changes for our collab collaborators and I could just simply click hide comments and all these have been removed if i click show comments they appear once again okay oh sorry and then the final thing is the manage comments area okay so basically these are a list of all the different edits i've made the different annotations i've made and as you can see i could choose to delete whatever i want from this so let me delete the area highlight, which is this portion here. I no longer need this and that it go that is gone. So once you click on manage comments, it gives you a list of all those annotations that you have made. And then you have options to filter. Okay, so if this there are different users, I could filter by whichever users have made comments. And it's just, it makes it really, really nice for collaboration the same thing goes with the annotations okay so these are all the annotations i could filter by annotations so for instance i could remove the highlights okay so i no more have highlights showing up here i could remove on the line and i no more have that showing up here it's just there's just a whole lot you could do so yeah that's about it for annotations let's move to the next thing okay so now we are on the edit page and here we have a lot of nice features i'll walk you guys through every one of them if i click on edit text for instance um it takes me to this page with my pdf and then 
I could click on the text I want to edit. Here we have Brook Hill. Um, let me add this, an additional zero to it. There you go. If you notice, the zero I added comes with the same font and format as the original text, which is pretty neat. Okay, so I could also delete things. I could delete this O. So I could delete C. I could add back O and C. It's just pretty neat. There's really nothing you can't do with this okay so yeah that's what it does now of course it takes the format of wherever you click so if you look here we have this color because i clicked here but then if i click on this overview it changes the color it changes the the font size as well it changes the kind of font it basically goes with whatever you have clicked okay so i'm going to exit editing here and then we have edit object now this is used for editing images so if i click here automatically it's highlighted the first what it counts as the first image but then let me go down to this image here once i click on this image automatically i get different options so i could save it i could rotate it let me rotate this okay so i rotate it and i get something like this i don't like that um I could use the OCR feature of obviously apparently there's no text here so it wouldn't work but then I could also replace this image so let me click on the replace button and then I'm going to look for an image of myself this and there you go I have a completely new image on my PDF okay so that's edit object and of course you could add text once you click on add text you simply get a text box so i could click anywhere and then i could type any text i want and then the text is added it's that simple but no i don't want to use this so i undo it we could use the add image feature and you you have seen it work here when i replace the image it's basically the same thing you click on the add image feature and then you could select what image and then pull it to wherever you want it to be okay so let me select my image again and then you see i have the image hanging i could go to any part of the document say this place and i could click and then i could adjust the image to whatever size i want it to be uh, this is a very funny looking me yeah but i could adjust it to whatever size i want it to be i could drag it anywhere i want it to be and pretty much that's how it works okay now you could add links to your pdf it's pretty much the same process click on the link um highlight where you want the link to appear select the kind of link so do i want it to link to a certain page of my pdf then i use this option and i here i impute the page i want it link into do i want it link into a url i could do that do i want it on a local file i'll have to select what file it links to but that's pretty much how the link option works now also if i don't want other people using this i could add a work watermark so i'll just click here and i'll say create watermark and now i enter my my text let me call this a farm um, file okay here's my watermark i could pick a size i'll leave it as auto i could pick whatever color i want I, I could change the rotate degree or angle, change the opacity, whatever I want it to feel, be, feel like. I could modify them here. I could pick all the pages I want it to be on. And then once I'm done, I click on OK. And there you have it. A farm's file has been watermarked to this document. Of course, I could remove the watermark simply by clicking on delete watermark here. And it is gone. Really neat, really, really simple. Okay, the last thing I would like to talk about as far as editing your document is concerned is the signature. So the signature option allows you, okay, let me delete this. I used that earlier on. The signature option allows you to create a signature. Now you have three options. You could use a picture. So if you have a picture of your original signature, you could use that. You could type whatever you want to be your signature or you could write with the mouse. I don't want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to clear it. Let me use a picture 
I'm going to add a picture. Um, I want to use this as my signature. So I click OK. And there we have my signature hanging. Let me scroll to the bottom just below my stamp and I click here. Now I can adjust. Um, this looks, yeah, this looks okay. And I like how my signature is perfect. Yeah, so as far as editing is concerned, I think these are the features you want to take note of. We move on to the next thing. Okay, so I just closed PDF gear, but let me launch it again because I need to show you guys something. Um, once you launch it, here we have what they call hot tools and I found this interesting. Under hot tools, you could do a lot of conversion. So if you have a PDF, you could convert it to Word, you could convert a Word to PDF and you know, it goes on and on. Now you could also split PDFs. You, I get to do this often. Okay, so you could make it bigger. That's by measuring or make it smaller by taking out something and then here let's just go straight to the to all tools and here you have it these are all the different tools packed within pdf gear a whole lot you know if you go through them one after the other but then um i'll just pick this form because this is an activity i get to do a lot filling forms and then you see um there's a lot you could do here. If I click on highlight form, it shows me all the places that need to be filled. If I unclick it, you see those places are unmarked. So let me just click this. And then here I could click here and I could write my name. Um, I could select any of these. And of course I could type here. So it's PDF gear is perfect if you need to fill forms and yeah you could add images add text we've already seen how all of these work let's go to page okay so for this form i have a single page so this wouldn't be the best example of what i want to do with the tool so what i'm going to do is i will upload a different document let me use this again um, this has how many pages? I think this has good. This has two pages, I guess. So I'm going to click on page and there you see we have two pages. Now this is interesting because now I can choose to work on only this and discard this, making my PDF smaller. I could reorder it. So I dragged this here and it asks me, I it asks me, are you sure you want to reorder the selected page? Yes. And then the second page is now the first. The first is now the second. There's just a whole lot this tool can do. Um, if we go to tools, and this is probably the last thing I'm going to be discussing. And if you note on the left pin here, yeah, we always have progress of the changes and updates we've made to the document that's pretty nice now here is an ai assistant powered by copilot and there's a lot you might do you could interact with your pdf using this ai so it gives examples of a few things you could do it could summarize this pdf you could add passwords to protect the file interesting you also get that option here so you could add or you could remove your password um, you could zoom the pdf to view there's a whole lot you could do simply by interacting with this copilot pdf um, this copilot ai and this is as much as I share in this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any other applications that you think do as much as PDF gear, please leave the names in the comments. I'm curious and I'd like to check them out. And if you liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.